Hey, what's up everybody? We're back with another video. Today we have a 2015 Forest River Forester. We got model number 3011DS. We have a propane tank located here. As well, we have um, a back storage compartment. I will open this up to kind of show you what it looks like back here. It is pass-through storage, and it is a lot of space. However, you do have that cutoff there. Um, right above me, we have uh, one of our two slides that um, is the bed on the inside. We'll see that when we head inside, but um, it is pass-through storage, so you can put something longer in there. It goes through all the way to the... Um, you have an opening on the other side. You can access it too, but you do have a, a space above it, so you can't just put anything and everything in there, but it is... Um, quite a bit of space for a Class C. This RV is about 31 feet in length. So it's a pretty uh, good size Class C. It's um, probably your average size Class C. I think most Class Cs are around 30 feet on average. We'll walk around the other side here. This is your passenger side with the one slide you see there. And here we are on the driver's side. You can see that other side of the pass-through storage. We have the sewer connections there, your gray water, your black water. Here's your other slide, a little bit bigger on this side. We'll see um, where the, <clears throat> what, what's on that slide when we head on inside. It's uh, basically a booth dinette, not to give you a spoiler alert or, spoiler alert or anything like that. I, we do have a 4,000 owning generator. It is currently running. That's why it's a little bit noisy over here. Um, located right there. And then we have some more storage here. Some more storage here. Now these doors, um, they don't, they open up from, they open up to the top um, here. And they open up sideways here. And then there they drop down. Um, so they drop down so that when the slide's out, you can still, I mean, you could still access it if you had it up at the top, um, lifted it to the top of the slide, but you would probably have to hold it if the slide was there. So these doors are designed to, um, you can see there, they fold down. Now, um, I would probably still prefer, I always prefer to have a door that opens up from left to right, um, always as opposed to up and down or um, down to up in that case, um, in that scenario. Um, but you can't always have that in certain areas. Um, I guess you could make a longer hinge like that, but I mean, your door would be like swinging out way too far um, if that was the situation um, to use, utilize all that storage there underneath the slide. So I'm gonna walk around back here to the front. We kind of have some uh, black, uh, white, brown, and tan on the outside of this RV. See there, the Forest River logo on the top, and the Forester, um, four big Forester letters above that by Forest River. Forest River is a pretty big entity. They make um, quite a lot of RVs today, so you're not going to have a hard time finding Forest River. But every year making model is different on an RV. I mean, so we're going to take a look and see what uh, this has. All right, here we go. Walking into the door which is located right behind the passenger chair in this RV. You have a booth right above the driver and passenger seat in this. This RV um, is used. It's got 54,000 miles on it. It is powered by a Ford V10. Um, the upholstery and everything in this RV has been kept very nice. I One thing I will say is that even for me, not being somebody who's bigger, sitting in the seat, you do have to put the seat back in order to give yourself enough leg room to swing your leg, leg around um, by that center console, which um, isn't an unco um, uncommon problem in a lot of the Class Cs where they have that bigger front center uh, console. I honestly would find some way, whether you have to mount the cup holders or whatever to the front of the dash above that, I don't know. But um, I would honestly try to do away if I was in charge of designing something, which you probably don't want me to be. Um, but I would probably do away with the center console some way, somehow. So, because, I mean, there's just like, if, if I have trouble getting my legs through there, then a lot of people will. And it's not an uncommon problem on a class 
see. I wouldn't say so much as it's a problem, but I mean, you would have to basically lift your legs over. I mean, now when you do bring the seat back, you do have more space. It's still not a lot of space. And then the other problem being that when you do roll the seat back, you do have the slide here, which isn't a problem. Um, of course, when the slides are out, but you know, when you're traveling, you have to have the slide in. So when the slide's in, if you have that seat too far back, the slide will run into the seat. <clears throat> so you have to have the seat up. Um, so you definitely have to basically pick your legs up and put them over that uh, section, put the seat back and then pull it back, pull it forward, make sure that you're pulling it back and then forward when the slide, I mean, I don't know. Um, but that's not an uncommon problem in a class C. Um, it, uh, it, it is a common problem. So I would do away with having such a bigger or bulkier console, but the seats themselves are very comfortable. The, the upholstery is really nice on this RV in uh, particular. You have uh, the bunk that um, does lift up and go out of the way so that when you do sit down, you don't have to duck your head every time you're trying to sit down in your uh, seats, but you have a nice, it's a queen size, um, basically bed up there. So you can sleep two up there without a problem. You have a ladder over here on this side. Um, right across from the entry door, you have two recliner chairs that are similar to the uh, same upholstery you have in the front seats here. They are very comfortable with uh, the whole recliner um, things right there that flip the flip the uh, feet out for you. You do have, um, I kind of like the layout in this being that it's just um, very straightforward and simple and, and there's not too much like right in the middle in the way sometimes they'll have uh, kitchens where something's just sticking out and when you put the slide in you have to walk around it and it's in your way everything on the passenger side in this is just basically a straight line over here it does give you quite a lot of counter space over on the end here you have even have an, an extension right here as well as the garbage built into the top there so um, that's very convenient whenever you have your cooking or what have you, you have wrappers or anything um, on the counter, you can just remove this and slide it into your your garbage there. You have a stainless steel sink. You do have an oven in this RV as well as the microwave above that. Microwave is smaller. Generally, you'll get a smaller microwave if you do have an oven um, as opposed to having the convectional microwave. You do have three um, <clears throat> burners on the top there with the uh, glass over top of that. Booth dinette, um, so it is the wraparound booth. Um, RVs will either have, uh, of course, the regular dinette or just the booth that doesn't wrap around and it just goes uh, to the uh, wall. This is a very, um, you know, I will say that it doesn't transfer over here as far as the booth, like to where it does in the front, where you don't have enough legroom. You do have plenty of legroom in this booth. Some booths, uh, even I get in and the table is so close to your legs, it's like the same situation where a lot of people are like, have to struggle to get in. So this is a super tall table, leaves you with plenty of legroom to get into that booth. The booth does turn into a bed and you have storage underneath there as well and then we'll head on back we have our refrigerator um, right here pretty good size um, class C's sometimes have small refrigerators this is uh, not small um, by any means it's got plenty of um, plenty of space big uh, big refrigerator you have pretty much a standard RV class C shower across from that we have your toilet so they are separated and you can close off uh, either section you have kind of the uh, curtain close off here um, and well I guess there's um, okay so instead of that's why this door so I noticed that's why so this door here instead of there being another cutoff there is pretty enormous for a bathroom door it's kind of might be kind of hard to see here on the camera but the reason why it's so big is because this is the uh, cutoff for you so for that whole entire hallway space. So instead of having the uh, pole cutoff like you do here, the pole cutoff curtain, your whole entire door is the uh, cutoff for the bathroom space to um, isolate the bathroom for you. Here's your toilet. 
and you have a little sink not a very big sink that's for sure but you have a sink right next to the toilet there you have a queen size bed right here and you have some pretty nice um, closet space in front of that with the cedar inlay that's always a nice thing to have um, in a closet it helps keep the moisture out of your clothes um, preventing mold you have a TV right um, right in front of your face there I do like the placement on the TV that they have in the living space in here that um, it's right across from the uh, chairs there I always find it um, important that you put the TV across from the most used sitting area which is definitely going to be these uh, recliners right I mean most of the time you can't you are going to be using this but most of the time you're going to have two people in this RV they're going to want to sit in the most comfortable seats these are the most comfortable seats um, in the RV and so you have a TV right across from that as opposed to maybe in the front where you're at an angle you can't use them or you have to sit at the booth uh, to see them so that's a nice placement for the TV and it's actually not a small TV sometimes when they do put them above the kitchen it'll be like a little tiny TV like placed right here but it's something that's um, a lot bigger mounted hanging up there which is a pretty great spot for it all right guys thanks for watching this video of this 2015 forest river forester this rv is for sale if you have any questions about it in general or if you want to know if you can purchase this rv i will leave an email listed in the description below feel free to reach out to me and i'd be happy to answer any questions for you all right guys thanks for watching and we'll see you next time